Coach, last time we, we spoke, you were you, you just started at Menlo College and uh, getting ready for the season there. And then um, the season gets done and uh, I get some emails and people are saying that you may be going to the CFL and next thing uh, it's official. How did that come about? Well, it really did come out of left field, and that's kind of how, um, you know, most of the jobs I've ever gotten have happened. And, um, you know, I was recruiting and getting ready for uh, my second season at Menlo, and, um, you know, Dan Hawkins got the job at uh, Montreal Alouettes and, and um, offered me a running back job. And, you know, it was just a, a rare and, and strange opportunity, not only from a football standpoint, but just a, a life and culture standpoint. And, you know, at this point in my life, it's just my wife and I, the kids are all grown up, so we thought it'd be a great adventure, and it was sad, you know, it's very hard to leave any school, I think I was thinking about every school I've ever left has been a tough goodbye, Yeah. because you just grow attached to, to the kids and the staff, And but on the other hand, um, this is a great adventure, and there's, you know, going to be a great staff there, and, and great people to coach, so, you know, it just uh, was an opportunity that I thought um, I couldn't pass up. Yeah. When Coach Hawkins you know, first asked you what what do you th- what were your first thoughts? Well, I don't know. You know, I don't know much about Canadian football and coaching professional football. Never really been something I aspired to yeah. and um, given a lot of thought to. You know, I put most of my time and energy into the high school and college, and um, but I did some research and and um, you know it became apparent that um you know there was there's a lot of pluses to it and yeah. uh was very interested in the fact that i you know instead of being the head coach i was going to be an assistant and just kind of focus a little bit more on some of the finer points i think as you're a head coach you, you paint with a very broad brush yeah and when you're an assistant you use a little bit finer brush and, and that's something that um that kind of fired me up yeah yeah any challenges that you're really looking forward to I think just mastering the running back position, um, you know, I think I know it, but to, to, to get to the level that I want to be at, I think it's going to be uh, a real challenge. I think it's just learning the strategy of three down versus four downs. And, you know, you watch a special teams film from Can- the Canadian League and you just shake your head because it's just, it's bad for us, real different and fun. Yeah. I think the Canadian game is an exciting game, fun to watch. Every play has a potential to break. Yeah. And uh, so I think, you know, I, I'm real excited about the challenge of, um, you know, fitting into a staff and learning, you know, meeting new guys, meeting, you know, living in a French speaking country, having everybody in motion. Yeah. Uh, all that stuff to me is just, uh, it's, it's just really going to be a, a fun challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And what are your feelings on uh, coaching pro football? Well, I think originally I kind of, you know, didn't think it was, you know, never really thought about it, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, it, and it, you know, initial thought was, well, you know, these guys are, you know, I mean, we have a quarterback that's almost 40 and, you know, running backs that are over 30. And, yeah. I mean, you're coach 10. But um, I think Coach Hawkins had a really good point and one that I'm really kind of, um, you know, really clinging to is the fact that, you know, inside every football player, you know, there's still a 12-year-old kid. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, every college kid, no matter how worldly they think they were, you know, old, how many years they've been there, when it comes down to playing football, um, they are still, you know, they're still kids. You know, we're all kids when it comes to the football part of the game. Yeah. So although it's business and you got to win and all that, you know, you still have to do, you know, the right things win at every level. Yeah. And, and so I think um, I'm anxious to do this. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a great challenge, but I, I'm not – real concern because I think that, you know, I've, I've been, you know, able to handle every level I've been at, and I, I really don't think it's going to be that much different, um, although I could be I could be wrong. But um, mm-hmm. I think it's approaching it like, you know, you know, you, know you, you have their best interest at heart, trying to, you know, help them become better players, prolong their careers. Um, you know, I think all those things resonate with, with everybody at any level. You know, I had experience uh, to go to the 49er Packer um, playoff game this year and, and, and kind of meet with some of the Packers yeah. uh, coach and, and after the game, and they had lost. 
And it just struck me how it looked just like every high school post-game gathering or college post-game gathering or Pop Warner post-game gathering. Yeah. Where it was just like, we're hugging the players and, and uh, you know, tell them it's okay, baby, we'll get them next year. And it's just, you know, it's, the final analysis, you know, two teams play, one has to win, one's going to lose, and uh, you, you, you do your very best to um, – to compete. I mean, so I think you know if I approach it in that in that way, I think um, I think I got a fighting chance. Yeah, yeah. And continuing on, on the, the the people side of everything, now you're you're dealing with players like you say that are older and they've got families. So there's also that side. You know, you're a parent and and there's more uh, conversation there for you to have with them. Well, exactly. And I think I think it's going to be. Um, a little different dynamic because of their life experience and where they're at on their journey. But ultimately it's kind of come down to, you know, how long can I keep playing and making a living and uh, can you help me, you know, continue? And I think that's, um, you know, that's, I think how you gain trust um, with the players is, 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 is giving them some, some tips or some help that, Kind of make their career longer, you know, because everybody wants to play as long as they can and, and make as much money as they can and pro football, and yeah. that that's a given. That's okay, and so we just have to make sure that that we're all doing it the right way.